An activist is suing the LAPD after officers swarmed her home. CPS 2's Leslie Marine has more. Just showed up. We were supposed to be at a press conference. Black Lives Matter LA co-founder Melina Abdullah recorded this Instagram video last August when LAPD officers showed up to her home after they say they got a 911 call about a hostage situation there. Hey, we got a call to this location that there's a male in there holding you guys hostage and he wants a million dollars or he's going to kill you within an hour. Oh my, no, somebody that's a, there's nobody in the house except my own security. Because of that. I just want to make sure that you're okay. I'm fine. Okay. My kids are petrified. Police later learned the call may have been a swatting incident when a person falsely reports a crime to garner police response. But Abdullah is now suing LAPD over their actions that day. It was not accidental. They were not coming to quote unquote keep me safe. They were coming to invoke terror. They were coming to terrorize. In the lawsuit, Abdullah claims police never made contact with her before more than 20 officers surrounded her home in tactical gear. Does LAPD call the landline of that home? No. Does LAPD call Dr. Molina's cell phone? No. Does LAPD take any measures to ensure that the call is not a hoax? No. Abdullah believes the large response was retribution for leading massive protests throughout L.A. in the days following the murder of George Floyd. The union that represents LAPD officers told us in a statement officers acted swiftly and professionally, saying in part, we have no doubt that if LAPD officers would have been delayed in their response or did not take the threat to kill hostages seriously, Ms. Abdullah would be suing the city for not providing an adequate police response. The lawsuit also claims that Abdullah's neighbor and personal bodyguard were allowed into her home at the time police surrounded it, and they questioned if that would happen during a hostage situation. Now, we did reach out to LAPD, but they do not comment on pending litigation. Reporting from downtown LA, Leslie Marin, CBS 2 News.